Yeah. Yes, sir. Sticking. Let's go. Nice cast, dude. <laughs> that was beautiful. Dude, that was on film, too. Oh. Sick. After spending the first day of catching slot reds back in the marsh, we decided to move out of the grasslands and closer to the Gulf of Mexico in search of our ultimate goal, catching a 40-inch redfish on the fly. After we moved towards open waters, we started seeing looming red shadows down beneath the boat. The first few froze us. We didn't even know what to think of it. But then, Stephen pulled it off. It's amazing what these bull reds do to you. You're on the bow of the boat, you have your fly rod in hand, and then you see it coming at you in a group of two or three and your first reaction is the freeze. After fighting through your initial reaction, muscle memory takes over. You start letting lines slip through your hand and you watch it slip through the guides as you cast your fly rod towards these closing dark red shadows. And then it happens. All of a sudden it feels like you have a freight train on the end. Needless to say, I had no control. We finally had to pull after him. Justin had to jump out with the net and chase it down because we were just making no progress with the seven weight fly rod. Finally got our 41 and a half inch redfish. Full team effort. Steve with the spot and the pulling on the platform. Justin with the net job and the behind the camera. And the rest was just in the books, man. Finally got our goal for this trip. And we're only two days in. And I think it's only gonna get better. And we're gonna let her go now and all is good.
after both Steve and I had managed to catch our 40-inch redfish. Day three was coming down to Justin pulling it off. We started out in the same places that we were seeing on the day before, out towards the gulf and more open waters. But with this being said, we were more exposed to the elements such as wind. Spotting was difficult, the water clarity was down, but we were determined to make it happen. This is what we were here for. Everyone here was rooting for Justin. It was a team effort. It was time to find a fish for him. All three of us were standing up on coolers or whatever elevation that we could find. And finally, we spot one. Yes. Oh my gosh. 45 feet. Turn broadside. Keep casting. You're casting right at Finally, we get our shot. We see it coming. Justin makes a perfect cast right next to the boat, five feet out, and hooks into the biggest fish of our trip. It is on, and it's like nothing I've ever seen before. After three days of incredible fishing in Louisiana, our weather began to take a turn for the worse. High winds and cold temperatures seemed to shut the fishing down. There's something special about the marsh. Every day you go back and you see new things and you don't know what to expect. These trips with good friends and good fishing will never be forgotten. It'll be the stories we tell our kids. It'll be the memories that we look back on and can't help but smile. As fly fishermen, these adventures are what we live for. It's what we wake up in the morning and think about and plan and scheme. The effort that gets put in to making a trip like this happen makes the reward of a bull red that much sweeter. <laughs> Just belly up and eat. After three days of fishing, countless slot reds to the boat. In each of us able to land a redfish over 40 inches, our goals had been accomplished. It had been an incredible trip.
This has been a bucket list trip for us. Catching bull reds like this is not something you get to do every day. <laughs> and it's not something that we take lightly. And we can't wait to get back and catch more hammerfish. Bye.